What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back. So we got some new candles to talk about today, which I'm just so excited for. Um, you guys already know what we're going to be talking about by the thumbnail and the title of this video. Y'all, I'm just so ready for spring right now because I'm just over this cold weather. It literally says that it's supposed to snow and rain today, tomorrow, Friday. Like, where is the spring weather? I need like my 60 degrees and then we'll be good. Like, I don't know. Also, you guys, I did have a little touch-up appointment for my tattoo. I don't know if you guys can see that. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, you guys, um, Bath & Body Works did release some new ice cream candles, and we're going to be talking all about them. So without further ado, let's jump in right into this video. I'm clearly still sick, but um, Bath, like I mentioned, Bath & Body Works did release some new ice cream candles. It's part of like their little ice cream collection, but before we get on, I did have like a little $8.95 free gift reward, so I did pick up the Mini Waikiki Beach Coconut Spray. I love this packaging so much, you guys. I feel like this packaging is just amazing and so summery, and it just looks luxe too. Like. Let's put some on. If we can't have spring slash summer outside, we're at least gonna have it indoors. <laughs> so Bath & Body Works launched Lemoncello plus Unicorn Sprinkles candle, and they also released the PB&J ice cream candle. Now, y'all like, mm, I am gonna be doing like a full in-depth review of each candle later on this week. We're gonna do a whole video talking about the Lemoncello, Unicorn Sprinkles, and we're also gonna be talking about the PB&J ice cream. But right now, we're just gonna be talking about them like as a whole for now. So, if you guys know anything about these candles, you will know that they were pretty much impossible to get your hands on. They sold out online within the first hour, which is completely crazy. Like, I was still asleep when they sold out, but I started seeing them like all over Instagram, people starting to post them like on YouTube and everything, and I was like, wait, those are coming out today? So I like called my local Bath & Body Works and I was like, hey, do you guys have the Lemoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles and the PB&J ice cream? And they're like, well, we do have the Lemoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles. So I was like, can you put one of those on hold? And they're like, yes, but they didn't have the PB&J ice cream. They said that they were still waiting for that to come in. So I went into my local store and I picked up the Lemoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles candle. I was happy, everything was great. And I think they had like, let's see, two left. I think they had the one that I got and then one left. So there really wasn't any left. I picked this up. I'm still kind of nervous that I'm not going to be able to pick this guy up. But I ended up going to my mall later that evening. And let's see, I went into JCPenney's. I was just walking around. And then like where my mall is, like the way it's like all set up, JCPenney's is like over here. And Bath & Body Works is all the way across over here. And I kid you not, from all the way over here, like with my eyes, even though I'm blind as I squinted and I was like, that's PB&J ice cream. Hold up, so I like booked it on over and sure enough, it was. And I was like, oh my goodness, like I can't believe you have this. And the store associate was like, yeah, we literally just got it in like 20 minutes ago. Oh my goodness, y'all. Anyways, sorry for going off on that little ramble, but all right, first up, Lemoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles. This guy has notes of pink raspberries, tangy Sorrento lemons, and fresh sugar cane. Now, a lot of people were saying that this just smelled exactly like Unicorn Sprinkles, and I have to completely disagree. Like, 100% disagree, because to me, it does not smell like Unicorn Sprinkles. Maybe like the slightest bit all the way hidden in the back, but on cold, no. Not at all. For me, on cold, it definitely smells more of like the fresh lemon pound cake candle that we got last spring. And when I do my review on this candle, of course, I'm gonna be like comparing and everything. Like, I still have yet to burn it, you guys. But on cold, like, I'm just getting the lemon pound cake candle. I don't know, that's just me though. And then we also have the PB&J ice cream. Now, this guy has notes of raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. Some people were saying that this smells like the old PB&J candle that we got like during the fall, like a couple years ago. I can't remember what year. And then a lot of people were also saying that it smells like wild berry jam donut. Now, I have yet to compare them, like I've said, but I don't know. It's definitely more of like a jammy type scent. 
I'm not really getting like a whole lot of peanut butter in it, which I'm kind of sad about, but hopefully when I burn it, I'm gonna be able to smell that a little bit more. I do have to say though, the packaging I am just obsessed with, it looks so freaking cute, you guys, and this would make like a perfect gift for somebody. Like, I love the little sprinkles all around the packaging, like, it's just, it's super cute, you guys. And then, I did see that I think it's like April 5th, we are gonna be getting two more candles that's a part of this collection. I think it's the Rose Water and Ivy and Vanilla Bean Candle. And then what's the last one? Can't remember. But we're getting two more, you guys. So I am excited for those and to get my hands on those bad boys. I just wanted to share with you guys that I did pick these two candles up and I am excited to review them for you guys. Um, hopefully... Bath and Body Works keeps putting out candles like this. I love getting the little limited edition candles, but I wish that Bath and Body Works would like, even though they are limited edition, like at least still make enough to have throughout like a season, at least, you know? All right, you guys, so that is everything for today's video. I know this video was on the shorter side and it was probably all over the place. Being sick just, I don't know, being sick just gets my whole mind twisted and just has me all over the place. Like, I can't even think straight. I can't talk straight. Like, it's just annoying, so I apologize. Anyways, you guys, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one. Bye, guys. I don't want this moment to end.